Hey guys, it's Vipsy, and welcome back to our Wondercraft mini-series. So I, I literally just ended the last episode, so I have not even uploaded or edited or anything in the last episode, so I really hope that you guys are enjoying this episode, or this series, but I don't know for sure. Um, this episode, I really, really, really need to work on some of these empty houses. So, um, oh, why do they keep doing that? I just need a regular banner. Don't need a crimson cult banner, I just need a regular brown banner. Um, alright, so I've been thinking a lot about these doors, and I decided that I don't want them. I want these banners to be uh, our doors, because I think they're so much cooler as, like, doors for this type of civilization. You walk right through them, and it's just, like, clods hanging over. So I'm gonna get rid of all the doors quick. And then we will go in house by house and just start decorating, and... I want to make like a oh shit dicks. I want to make like a preset for um just the general NPCs that walk around and say say things so that I don't have to spawn in like 15 individual freaking I don't know where I'm going with this but all right so doors 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 no more of these doors <sighs> Y'alls have doors? Yes, y'alls do. Fuck off with your doors. I think that's all of them then. Okay, so now that's done. Um, let's start with the... Let's start back here. Because I, I know one of these is empty. It's this one. Yeah. So this is just a house, but I'm going to uh, grab all of these things because all of the houses are pretty much going to have the same interior. At least, you know, when it comes to houses. Now this is obviously a, uh, a different story because she is uh, like our information person dealio. Um, and while I'd love to put more decorations around. I'm really just I'm really just not sure what I could put on the walls that would make this any better for her. So that'll have to do. Is this an empty house? Sweet, it's an empty house. So I do want to like rotate the the interiors a little bit just so they they do differ from each other. But Let's see, what can we put on this on this little shelf? I want to put something cool. Can we put like a little crystal? Yeah, where's Thomcraft? It's around here somewhere. Thomcraft, you can't run from me. There you are. Let's put let's put like a ooh, let's put like a mixed crystal cluster. -y. Nope. Yeah. Does it hang over? Nope. Fantastic. Dope. So, that's two houses. <laughs> what are you? Another house? Okie dokes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I kind of... I mean, I feel bad because they're kind of boring, but there's nothing really important in these houses. They're just meant, like... For, to, for looks, really. I mean, real, really. All right, now this can be a little shop, so let's let's go ahead and trash this stuff and grab some carpenter's blocks. And we'll grab some of these, and we'll grab some of these. So we'll put... Give it a nice top like that. And uh, let's get, like, a trap door. I'm sure I've got one of them around here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Fantastic. And, uh, what should this little shop sell? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they could sell pets. Oh, no. This isn't, this is not a big enough spot for pets. That they could sell Grimoire of Gaia stuff. 
I really wish this mod had more to it than it does. Like, it's a really awesome mod, and I, lo I love the NPCs that it adds, but I, I just wish it added more. Hmm. What to have you sell? They could sell wedding rings. I actually kind of like that idea. Same with like these, these like fancy dancy s. They could sell all these. Sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. Well, for first let's like actually spawn them in. That, that would probably help. NPC one. All right, so uh, here we go. We need. Uh, Let's see, let's see. What kind of person would sell wedding rings? Nope, definitely not a cockatrice. That's for sure. Probably just a little dryad. And uh Athy. That's kind of let's let's name let's name her instead of Athy, like Anthy. Yeah, I'm down. Um and you have a role of a traitor. Not an actual traitor, but just a traitor. Oh my gosh, these are like, uh, way too many. Let's, we'll just sell the fancy ones. If we can. So wedding ring, wedding ring, and then you could buy, you know, you want, you could buy. Just a regular ass engagement ring, or you could go all out and get some heart shaped ones, or just a tiny one if your girl's like me and doesn't like big ass or rocks. But if your girl's like most ladies, get her a big ass rock with a star on it or some shit. Um, I still have two more, so I have, like spots. So I'm thinking about. Nah, you know what? I don't. They don't need any of this. Let's just go. Let's go coins because. Now rings, wedding rings in particular, they're going to be expensive as hell, so I, f I, f I kind of feel like making them like 32 each, which is like heinous, I know, but I'm not making the money. It's Anthony here. It's her prices. She's expensive as hell. No. Whole stack. Okay, or just throw it at her. I suppose that works. There we go. Fantastic. Done. So when we click on her, she will sell you rings. I am going to give her a title, though. Uh, ring vendor. That's not how you spell vendor. Vendor. Yeah. Oh, now I really want to go into the market. Nope, 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 nope. The market is common, people. They don't get titles. They don't own shops. They just own stalls. All right. So, yeah. And that is literally as simple as putting in the NPCs. Now, if I were to write dialogue and stuff, it would probably take me closer to uh, 30 minutes to an hour to build an NPC. But because they are fairly, fairly uh, simple little shopkeepers, I'm not too worried about it. Ah, right house. Okay. I thought there was a shop, like one of these was a shop. Okay. But I, I guess not. What are you in here? I think I want to make this a shop too. We'll just go ahead and we'll put this all the way across. Yeah. Lucas can keep his name, and I think I want him to be a Spriggan. Where's the Spriggan? Where is Spriggan? There he is. I gotta watch my, my time on this, too. I've only been recording for ten minutes, but it feels like two, so... Alrighty, what should you sell? Hmm... Ooh, I have an idea. 
Let's have him sell like Ender Pearls, Eyes of Ender, Ender Pearl shards. Sure. I thought Grimoire of Gaia had like uh, an Ender thing. Let's look, Grim. Oh, okay, yeah, I do got it. Ender book, interesting. All right, well, yeah, he can just sell like Ender pearls. That'd be cool. Uh, not that many though. Not that many, definitely not. Only eight. He'll only sell, and not even eight of these. He'll only sell four of them. Actually, no, he'll only sell two at a time of them. Same with these. Four of them, and and four of them. Shit, yeah, because Ender Pearls are eyes, are eyes of Ender are expensive as hell, so. Alright, cool. You, my friend, are expensive as hell. But you got good shit. Alright, thanks. Um, this one has stuff in here, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, now this is obviously going to be a shop of sorts, but I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to make this one. Hmm. 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 Oh, my wisteria is growing. Yay. Um, I'm going to have to figure this out. We have blacksmith. We have the vegan life coach. We have... I can't remember what Poppy sells, actually. I think she just sells vanilla plants. Yeah. So she just sells vanilla plants. So let's make this a boat. Botania building? Yeah? Yeah, let's make this a Botania building. I can find Botania wherever the heck it is. There it is. I like that one. Ugh, all these pasture seeds, I'm gonna definitely, okay, before I get to working on the NPC that's going to live here and sell these goods, let's decorate the shit out of this place. I need some item frames and we have nine, so uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 I'm not feeling that right there. Before, yeah, no, I'm not feeling that either. I need, I need a, just a big nine by nine area. Well, this is the only place to put it. So this is where it's going. Cause I want all these pasture seeds like together. Yeah, oops, that's not what I want. There we go, yeah. Freaking cool. So, um, Batania, let's go boom, drum of the wild. Let's go boom, drum of the canopy. That one looks cool. I'm just gonna grab any blocks that just look super cool. This guy. Oh. Well, sure. Yeah, I'll leave him there. She might. She'd know what he does. Get some drums. I have the ancients, huh? Let's put this like here. <laughs> Timeless ivy, does this grow? Why would it? Aha! A vine ball? Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I guess that was pretty self-explanatory. So 
have like a cute little floating pink flower. Oh, I like that. I like that so much more than I thought I would. Okay, well, this changes everything. Let's find a uh, floating red flower, floating orange flower, floating yellow flower, floating green flower, floating light blue flower, floating purple flower. Hell yes, you best believe. The rainbow. Don't know where we're gonna put it yet. But Oh yeah, I like that. That's cute. We can keep like our little pink flower down here. Let's see what other cute flowers do we've got? Just have like some weird ones now. Sweet. I love it. I love it so much. It's so magical. Okay. Um, let's see what else do we have in Botania. Ooh, cool. Can I put this up here? Yes, I can. I w I'm really hoping that none of this stuff, like, actually affects the terrain around it without any mana generating it, which I believe is the case when it comes to Botania, so I can, I can get away with just putting this, like, random shit all over. That's not what I want. I just I just want an item frame. Check my time. Seventeen minutes. Okay. Well, we'll have a botanical brewery just like chilling. Um, same with like. Uh, I know I just scrolled past it. Ooh, let's have like a really pretty petal apothecary, like a blue one. <clears throat> oh, and definitely some of these like mana pylons, they're just really magical looking. Same with like this one and this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I'm digging it. We're magical as fuck. Tiny potato. Ah. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess that will do for now, and then we'll just we'll we'll spawn in our NPC here. And Ava, that work for a name, and I want to make her Mandragora because Mandragoras have the cute little flower on their head, and that'd be perfect. So yes, we'll make her instead of we'll make her like one size bigger. Yeah, perfect. Um, advanced. She, uh, you know what? We, she can have no role, and uh, we'll give her like a. Uh, I can't even remember what your stupid name is, Ava. We'll give her like a, uh, something like Rocky or a, a minion basically to do all of her selling. So she's going to actually have dialogue. Hello. Hello, at P. My name is Ava and I'm the, uh, I am the master bot and this here at Darnassus. I can uh, assist you in many different things pertaining to botania and f magical flowers in general. What have you come into my shop 
for today. All right, and our dialogue options can be, um, how do I start Botania? And where can I buy mystical flowers? And um, how do I get a Lexica Botania? Ah, so before I before I get into this, if this is I'm going to go ahead and do all of her dialogue in this episode so that you guys can see like what it, I kind of go through when I build it. It is going to take a while, so I apologize in advance, and I hope you guys don't mind my awful reading skills. But yeah, so uh, start Botanica. Okay, so let's start with uh, starting Botania. Um, starting Botania. No, 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 no. Starting. Botania, Jesus fingers, just type. Starting Botania is the easiest form of magic to start. All you have to do is go around your world and pick up, oh my god, 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 and pick up as many mystical magical flowers as you can they come in every shade of color and they each have their own unique 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 uses have you begun gathering flowers? Question mark. And for this we can say obviously yes I have. Now what do I do with them? Or no I haven't. I'll get to picking right away. And this one can just close. <sighs> doing, doing, this is, it's so, it's so tedious. Botania too, Botania too. Once you, once you have the flowers you should obtain Alexica Botania. That's not how you spell Alexica, Alexica Botania. And it will guide you through how to use the petals in an apothecary and how to craft new magical flowers. Thanks. And then this can just close. Fantastic. So, now that that's done, <laughs> we can go back and I have to select this dialog so that you can actually go from there from there. And then that's just a close, so hello, back to hello. What other options do I have? Where can I buy mystical flowers? Mystical flowers. Flowers. Oh, you know what? Let's come back to you, Ava. I want to go see what her name is because that's not cool. What's your name, girl? Florence. What a, what a natural name. For someone who shall, who sells magical flora. Alright, I'm getting too carried away with that. Alright, now hello. Mystical flowers, here we go. 
you can buy any magical flowers you need from Florence in the market. Has all sorts of magical flowers surrounding her stall. You won't be able to miss it. And thanks. And close. Now what was the third option? Lexica Botan. Yeah, right. Lexica Botania? How do you get a Lexica Botania these days? Hold on, I gotta look this shit up. Lexica Botania. I'm googling it on my phone. <laughs> you get it though? Now come on now. Tell me how to get my legs Botania. Feed the beast is not being helpful. Shit. <laughs> I'm completely at a loss. I don't know how to get a Alexa Batania, guys. Let's see if any I knows. Any I might tell me. I like really looked online and I mean like I've had my Lexica Botania for god knows how long but I don't remember how to get it. Oh, <laughs> that's simple enough. <laughs> I wish I had just asked any eye the first time, Ava. I'm sorry. Okay. Lexica Botania, here we go. You can craft a Lexica Botania very easily. All you need is a vanilla book and a sapling of your choice. Once you have a Lexica Botania in your name, you can always get a new one and not lose any of your progress. I have to like not type with emojis because you know you can't like emote a little smiley face. And uh, we'll go thanks and close. And that should be pretty much everything for her. Now let's see if she works. Oh wait, nope, she doesn't because I need to do this thing first. Lines, interact lines. Nope, that's not what it is. Cancel. It's dialogues. So that's what I meant to do. And we have to start her off by saying hello. Hello. Oh. What? I don't understand. Hold on. My shit's broken. Oh, you know what? It's because I didn't do I didn't do this part. This part's kind of important. Starting Botania. Did I already do that? Okay. Where can I buy mystical flowers? Easy enough. Mystical flowers, done. How do I get Alexica Botania? Alexica Botania, done. Ow. Um. Okay, so now she, sh she should be set up and ready to go now. Yes, okay, cool. 
We just had to link all of her stuff together. So hello Vipsonia, my name is Ava and I'm the Master Botanist here at Darnassus. I can assist you in many different things pertaining to Botania and magical flowers in general. What have you come into my shop for today? Uh, how do I start Botania? Starting Botania is the easiest form of magic to start. All you have to do is go around the world and pick up as many mi magi mystical magical flowers as you can. They come in every shade of color and they each have their own unique uses. Have you begun gathering flowers? Yes, I have. Cool. So basically she works and uh, I'm going to give her the title Master Botanist. And boom, there we go. Um, really quick, uh, you know what, I was going to give her a little minion to help her sell stuff, but you know what, I think she should be more of like a, bo a Botania life coach, so over time, maybe as I get better at, at Botania in my own series, I can like come over here and update Ava's dialogue so that she can, you know, help teach you a bit more about Botania than you we already know. But that is where I'm going to end this episode, guys. I hope you are enjoying the series. If you are, please leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see me do next. Again, we are still going to be in Darnassus come the next couple of episodes. We still have quite a few vi uh, buildings that need filled. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will all catch you. I will all catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>